Uh, there is this evangelical magazine, Christianity Today, Chris, uh, calling for the removal of, of President Trump from office amid this impeachment battle. First, here's the president responding to that. Okay, here it is. He says this, a far left magazine over very or very progressive as some would call it, which has been doing poorly and hasn't been involved with the Billy Graham family for many years, Christianity Today, knows nothing about reading a perfect transcript of a routine phone call and would rather have a radical left non-believer who wants to take your religion and your guns than Donald Trump as your president. No president has done more for the evangelical community and it's not even close. Here is what he was responding to from Christianity today well because uh, there are times of course when uh, there are issues that transcend politics so this I, to me this is one of them I'm, the question is when does his behavior which is described as immoral accurately rise to the level where he's no longer uh, fit to serve office and to me we cross that line with the impeachment hearings all right, so Chris, I'll throw up uh, the uh, president's job approval rating among evangelicals, which, by the way, was taken before the impeachment vote, and it stood at 67 percent approval to 32 percent disapprove. What do you make of what we were seeing play out there? Well, it, it's all about the math and some other math I'm going to give you, Sandra. 25 uh, percent of the vote in America, 25 uh, percent of voters identify themselves as Christian evangelicals. So it's a very big voting block. And in the last election in 2016, uh, Donald Trump in the exit polls got 80 percent of the evangelical vote to 20 percent for Hillary Clinton. So this is a very important part of his electoral base. Uh, you can argue about Christianity Today magazine and where it stands on the political spectrum, but anything that challenges his hold, and I'm not sure whether this will or not, but, but you know, anything that even raises the issue about whether Christian evangelicals should support Donald Trump uh, is obviously very important to him politically. Uh, so they're going to fight back and push back hard on this. The uh, Fox News polling, and again, this was taken before this week's vote, also revealing this about those evangelicals who uh, want to see the president impeached and removed. It is far less, obviously, than the general response of the population at 29 uh, percent that want to see him impeached and removed from office. What do you have coming up this weekend? Because we'll be watching on Sunday, Chris. Thanks so much. Yeah, we're going to be talking to Mark Short. He's the chief of staff to Vice President Pence and a key player in the White House. We'll be talking to him, obviously, about impeachment and also about Nancy Pelosi's move uh, to uh, hold up sending the articles of impeachment at least until January 7th when the House gets back into session. We'll also be talking to Congresswoman Debbie Dingell. Two reasons we want to talk to her. First of all, she's a member of the Democratic leadership, so we'll be talking to her about Nancy Pelosi's decision to hold up sending the articles. And then, of course, there's the whole flap between her and the president over the president making some remarks about her late husband, John Dingell. Uh, so all of that coming up on Fox News. It Sunday. has been quite a week. I know you'll have a lot to talk about. We will be watching. Chris Wallace, thank you, and happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Same to okay, you, Sandra. Thank you.